Hey guys. Well, we got the um, uh, running and everything together last video, and now we got the thing tore down. Connor's out there, he's cleaning it up. It's really not that dirty. I, I can't believe how clean it really is. But there's a little crust and crud on it here and there, so Connor's taking that um, uh, engine degreaser and uh, pressure washer. How's that going? Oh, that's looking good. Oh, that's cleaning right up nice. Oh, the radiator looks great. It looks like a new radiator. Well, it probably isn't, but it does look good. I don't believe I've ever bought an old tractor that didn't have a patch in a radiator somewhere. <laughs> so the dirt's coming off. Okay, I got the hood off. Actually, Connor did. Took the grill off the M. I've got it on my motorcycle tank stand. Oh, that was a neat little build, too. That was very easy to build, just an old rim. I had a couple tubes that would slide in and out of each other. I just use a clamp. I can adjust it. I can drop it down. I can make it higher. It's, it's turned out to be a nice little tool. I uh, put a cross T there. You can see if most motorcycle tanks, I can put the front two bolt holes, kind of hook it on there, and then it rests the back on here. It makes it nice. I can put it right to light. I can put it right at the right level to paint and do all that. Okay, all that to say, this grill is in pretty decent shape. There is a ding right here, gotta take care of that. But most of the fins, I mean, as I'm looking at them, they're pretty clean. Uh, I'm gonna do a little sanding, a little wire wheeling. This is even not bad. I might take that apart so I can get paint in there and paint that separate. And I gotta take this off. Although this is, turns out this is the right. I mean, I look at YouTube videos of 54Ms and they all have this, which we'll get a new one because this one's a little beat up. But mostly just surface rust. It's got to come off. And the hood's nice shape too. Now these hoods are pretty rugged. The, the G hood, I have an extra G hood sitting over there, standing up. And uh, they rusted through, I think, a little quicker. But this is heavy. So I'm going to clean the back side first, and then I'll clean up the front side and get the whole thing paintable. But I really don't think. Once I start cleaning, I'll know for sure, but I don't think there's a dent in this hood. Uh, a little, little deflection here, but right there is a little bit. Looks like somebody might have hogged that out just a hair. We'll see what happens. Probably put a real muffler on it too. Good old fashioned M muffler. Make it look like a new tractor. Okay, so working on this uh, grill. I gotta take the screen off. Even though it was in great shape, it's got dirt behind it, and there's just no way to get that cleaned up the paint without taking this off which I don't know if I'm gonna put it back on or not and I'd probably just leave it off um, looks to me like they cinched like u-shaped sheet metal around this little bracket and then they pinch welded it because this one was welded on both sides this one just popped off and this one's coming apart it's coming off the grill so eh, that's what I'm working on right now we'll get the grill fixed up get the screen off and then I'm gonna start wire wheeling and cleaning all right, Connor just gave it the old foam gun treatment with Dawn. Cut some more grease off it. I'll melt the grease off it. Gonna give it a hot rinse. Ah, what's this? A leaky spark plug? A soap test? All right, back to my thing. Yeah, they really, uh, they just a one-time deal. It wasn't made to be removable. A little spot weld on each side of that. So, I don't know what to do. I guess I gotta cut them welds. That's hanging like that. I'd like to put that back and leave that like that, I guess. This, this one's wiggling too. I'll put a couple of tack welds. Once I get the thing cleaned up, then I can always put the screen back on. I'll just have to figure out a different way to cinch it on there. Probably just a clamp. You know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut these off. When I go to put this back on, I'm just going to clamp it on. Yeah, I don't know what that's Ooh. about. Somebody had some crazy idea going. Yeah. What's that? Oh, we got a little gas leak here, Con. Yeah, yep, yep. We're finding all the leaks. Oh, man. Turns out it's not new. Turns out it's not brand new. What leak did you find, Chris? Oh, I see it. Yeah, Probably just tighten that bolt a little. That's pretty cool. Because I was getting a little cramped on this thing. Oh, now I can't reach. Well, 
Really Maybe if we're a little taller than 6'3". <laughs> She's a lot different than us. Well, yeah. It, it's green. It's way older. Well, let's see if it starts again. Yep. Yeah, put on charge tonight. Yeah. He knows where the gears are. See, it's got an override clutch on the PTO and it is twisted. <laughs> Somebody did something crazy. Probably a, something that jammed shut, you know? Yeah, we'll just tape the steering wheel, kind. We'll tape it off and paint it. Uh, yeah. It's not perfect, but it's only got a couple of cracks. It's not like the ones that are missing that just have a skeletal ring. The seat does. The seat folds all the way down like that. It's kind of weird. Yeah. All right, we're gonna determine whether we should save these lights or fix them. So this is the backlight. It's really nice inside. It's not even that bad on the outside. I mean, this one's pretty easily fixable. This switch though, pushes that disc in the back. Seems like there's a spring missing or this switch is screwed up. I think the switch changes to the red, you know, for safety or whatever. You know, it goes from being a uh, work light to be in a backup light. So this is the back light. This is one of the front lights and it looks like somebody was in there. It looks like somebody's in there and made it new. I mean that's pretty neat wiring. The new bulb yeah, looking too. Yeah the bulb don't look bad. Yeah but it works. Six volts. Of course there's rust on it. Kind of must have been in there a while. Yeah. I mean so you're working I don't, on the other one. how long this thing sat for. Somebody's working on it. Somebody, somebody was working on this it. tractor. And then and, the, and these rings and stuff, these are all pretty decent. We can clean these up. Back, they right? should be black. That the one back was one was red. Should they all be red? Uh, yeah, should well. you, these get black. That's yep, factory that's black. black. So they should get painted black again. This one's not in as good a shape. I can tell already. Yeah. So maybe we have to buy one. So maybe we have to buy one, yeah. They're really crusty. Ugh. Hornets aren't going to come flying out of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's kind of stuck with rust, isn't it? It is. I don't want to pry it too much. but Well, not too much, but you got to pry it enough. There you got to get it apart. Just a little bit of prying. Yep, somebody touched that one up too. Huh. I think it could be saved too. If you blast it or treat it. I mean, you could still work out the letters... You know, like patent numbers and stuff like that. So that means it hasn't rusted to the point where, where it hasn't gone behind that little bit of stamping. So there's still enough metal on it. Yeah. I think it's salvageable. Well, if we buy new ones, they probably won't be a whole lot better material. They won't be better material. Okay. So one wire the lights bulbs out, and then we'll clean it all up and and do it. And this is our um, this is the whole nerve center basically the box that holds the wiring this is the cover this i got the wiring out i label everything where it goes so i know where it goes and i can't decide whether i'm going to buy a wire harness or if we're going to just uh you know make up an, our own new wire harness because i can lay this out on the table and do it pretty quick but that does take time connor says a new harness is about 170 bucks from steiner might do that just because it's easier <laughs> I got TC alternator and generator TC's anyway downtown those guys are awesome so I'm gonna take that off that that's not even an alternator it's a generator down to them and gonna just keep it six volts get some more done I've taken some taken some dents out there's a dent here hook that out pretty good I don't I don't know I don't know if I'll putty it we'll prime it and see what it looks like it looks real Dinky and I don't want it to look like the stuff was chiseled out of stone, you know. So I might putty a little bit just to make it smoother. Everything looks pretty good on this. We're gonna leave the radiator in. We did take this housing off so we can put the new hoses on. Probably won't do that till after we paint. We gotta change this belt too because this belt's pretty beat up. 
And know, we're getting her stripped down enough to where we can start. I think I'm going to disassemble the stuff. seat because there's so many moving parts with the seat. Going to disassemble it? Yeah. Take the slide part off of the shock absorber part. Clean it all up. Yeah. There's hidden rust everywhere. Yep. Yep, that seems prudent. Where do you stop? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is neat. This slides. You have different positions. Goes from being short to being shorter. <laughs> right, Con? Actually, if we set that all the way back, I have trouble hitting the pedals. I mean, it's... And you're about 6'2 and 5'8. Yeah. It's not much of a platform. You know? No, it's not much of a platform. You do like a, like a platform up there. A little extra step. Yeah. Just somewhere to put your feet. It's like riding a motorcycle or something. <laughs> yeah, they could have put foot pegs there. <laughs> like the old uh, Ford's head of old foot pegs, remember? This is a little more comfortable than the G. Really? Yeah, because, well, there's no, on the G, there's no suspension in the C. They didn't right. didn't figure that out until, like, the 70s. Until the next series, the number series. Yeah. They used to, and then they had to move the battery. And right. And they lost that suspension yep. in the seat again. That's like, what a big step backwards. Well, they had a thick cushion. There you go. Thick cushion. <laughs> and you could stand. And you could stand. I think that was part of it, too. But you know what? It's you. jarring standing unless you keep your knees bent. Yeah, you got to go. Then you're the suspension. All right. Yep. Till the next one. That's it for today. Like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video.